What up, people? It's DJ Smooth K. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification. Um, I'm doing this video, man. I get a lot of questions about doing um, a Q&A video. So if you got any questions you want to know, DJ related, it can be anything uh, from what uh, should you start off with as a DJ, um, turntables versus CDJs or where I get my music from, what type of speakers to use, anything DJ related that I can give my standpoint on or my personal opinion on, drop your questions below. Man, I'm gonna do an entire Q&A video for everybody so I can finally answer all the questions. It can be anything headphones related, what type of headphones I like to use. Anything DJ related that you wanna know, drop your questions below. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. I'm coming with more videos. I'm trying to uh, get a set schedule going for y'all, man. It's kind of hard with working and all the things I got going on, but I'm gonna try to put out more content for y'all. So stay tuned, man. Um, one of the questions I get asked the most is what setup should you start off with as far as DJing? And honestly, man, I used to think as a DJ, you want to get on turntables as fast as possible, but honestly, it's so much um, equipment, different uh, controllers, CDJs, uh, etc. coming out, man. It's honestly whatever you can afford to start off with. That's what I would start DJing with. Whatever you can afford, don't go broke. Start with something that you can easily afford because one thing I learned about DJing, you'll be DJing on certain equipment for a little while and then you may decide, you know what? I think I want to use CDJs instead of turntables or turntables instead of, instead of CDJs. So it really just depends on whatever you can afford, man. Buy whatever you can afford. Start off with whatever you can afford. But the most important thing though is learn on all different setups. Learn on controllers, learn on CDJs, learn on turntables because the last thing you want to do as a DJ is get somewhere to a club or get to a gig somewhere who provides their own equipment and you can't use it. Then you out of a gig, you can't make money. Then you starting a bad reputation for yourself and for your brand that you don't want to you don't want to create that bad stuff. So, when you first learning learning start off with buy whatever you can afford start learning on that experiment on the different softwares and just just get better with that that will make you a well-rounded dj and more marketable and you'll be able to go other places and not have the fear of well i wonder what setup they have i wonder if i can use it or not because you're you already know the answer to that so very important man it's all it's so many different types of controllers out now so many diff different cdjs uh turntable setups Whatever you're comfortable with buying, start with that, but progress. Don't just stay on a controller. Don't just stay on CDJs. Don't just stay on turntables. Be well-rounded. Try every single thing that you can try, and you'll be well-pleased with that. And it'll help your brand as well at the end of the day. So that's one of the questions that people ask me the most. So I decided to go ahead and answer it for you. You know, what should you start off with? My opinion, start off with whatever you can afford that's that's just my opinion all right so again if you got any more questions q a people want me to do these like all the time i don't mind drop your questions below and i'll answer for you all right peace don't forget to subscribe as well all right i'm out